Hi, Dean Crab from C2 Solutions here. We all have the same daily battle of trying to deal with emails, and Gmail is a different experience to Outlook. So today I'm going to show you 12 productivity hacks for how to really get the most out of Gmail and get through those emails as fast as possible and get on with your day. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through here about 12 or so, probably a couple more productivity hacks for Gmail. Okay, um, so let's just jump in it, into it because there's quite a quite a lot to get through. Um, the first thing I want to show you is setting them all up, and then I'll actually demonstrate them after we set them up. So if you go up to your settings and into settings here, okay, and then if you go over to labs, we can enable a few labs here. And so these are the ones I've got set up. Uh, authentication icon, it's nothing to explain there, but it obviously helps you see verified senders. This auto advance is awesome for something I've been playing with lately. It allows you to jump through emails really, really quickly, um, one after the other. Okay, um, canned responses, you can do canned responses to people and, you know, have certain things set up to respond to them. It's really, really handy just for common replies. Google Calendar widget allows you, this is actually it down here, I'll show you that in a minute. Google Voice Player, I won't demonstrate that today, but can play voicemail messages in your inbox. Mark as red button, it's a great way of bulk um, closing off emails as red. Multiple inboxes is another great one for getting some customized views. Pictures in chat does exactly what it says, so I won't dwell on that one. A preview pane um, allows you to have some a vertical or horizontal split preview pane. Quick links, this is a really nice way of creating some custom views on your um, email box. I'll show you that. Quoted text, so um, we might also walk through quoted text, but otherwise you can play around with that one. Um, right side chat, so nothing really to explain there, but when you enable that, it pushes your Google Hangouts over to the right side here. And then the unread message icon, again, nothing to explain there, but it stops you jumping back to your email you get the unread messages up here. So it's kind of handy just to be able to look and see and go, okay, there's something there for me to do. So there are the labs you can enable, okay, and play with, and I'll show you what some of them do. Then the other bit is once you've enabled some of those, um, is, is also adding two extensions in. So if you go up to the burger icon, go more tools and then extensions. In here, I've got this actions for Gmail, okay and you can find it in the Google Store. It looks like that. Okay, and really it, it adds these additional actions into your email like that, that you can actually do right in the spot. A great way for getting through emails really fast. And the other extension, which is a wonderful time saver, is email dictation, and it does exactly what it says. So view that one in the store as well. Okay, and you get a little icon down here, and you can literally talk through your emails. Now you need a good microphone for that, okay? So you need a really good high quality microphone for any any type of email dictation. I've done lots of it, so make sure you have a good mic. Okay, so then once you've got those things activated and installed, there's a few settings you can set up against some of them. So let's go over back to our email and into settings. And we'll work from the top down. So I like to, this is something that's there by default, but show 100 conversations per page. Kind of stops the pagination a little bit. Auto advance. So this is one of the labs we enabled. I say go to previous older conversation. So once you've active actioned one email, you get the next email. You can kind of smash through emails really quickly. Um, send and archive. This is a great one. So if you like a clean inbox, you can send an archive. So you you reply to an email, it'll remove it out of your inbox. When the person replies back, it then pops back into your email box again. This is another really embarrassing saver <laughs> solution. Undo send, okay? I have it set to 30 seconds, so after I send an email, I've got 30 seconds to retract it if you want, okay? Preview pane, mark conversation as read. I've set to 20 seconds. Now, I have it set to 20 seconds because when you combine it with auto advance and you're going through emails, sometimes you don't want the email to be autom automatically marked as read. So I have it to 20 seconds so that if it stays there, it then closes off. And combined with the mark as red button, you can then manually mark it as red, okay? 
Stars are a nice thing to set up if you want to have some colorful icons that mean something different. For example, to be read, to be actioned, to do, information, you need to forward or reply to this. And I have a question about this one, okay? So I, I use stars to help kind of itemize my inbox. Um, and that's it for all the setup. Now let's go over and I'll show you now all of those things in action. So go into the email. So the auto advance, I'll go into my updates and I'll just pick some emails down here. Okay, auto advance, whenever you archive, delete or mute um, an email, it'll jump over the next one. So this one I'm gonna go archive. Okay, I've read that one, archive, archive, archive. I'm gonna delete that one. Okay, and so really, really quickly to get through your emails, I find with that one alone, I get through all my emails very quickly in the morning. Mark has read is another one if you do a search for something. So I'm just gonna search on emails from my internet, okay? And, and you might have a whole bunch here, and say some of them are unread, you can just go Mark has read, you get this button up here, okay? Really nice way to bulk mark things as read. Now I've already shown you the right side chat that we enabled. Okay, so really easy to jump in there and actually chat to people. Um, that's, I find handy. It actually frees up this left-hand side a bit. That's why I push it over to the right-hand side. I've also shown you the unread messages. So you can see I've actually got five now unread messages. Okay, handy to know. Actions in Gmail. So with this actions in Gmail, similarly, you can go down a list and go, okay, archive that one, archive that one, archive that one. Uh, and mark you can mark some as red and things like that okay as you go through it so you can see that closing them off or delete them okay so you just delete those messages so really really handy little tools there to action emails in bulk again voice dictation now this is a real time saver if you go compose uh, go into the email okay and I just click this and then start talking hi Dean comma new paragraph how was your weekend? Question mark. Look forward to catching up with you next week, full stop. Now the reason I got the comment there is as a word, If you, I've noticed if you leave a long space between when I said hi Dean, it doesn't think it's punctuation, it thinks it's another word. Okay, so anyway, it still saves you heaps of time to go through and um, then just tidy up the email. Again, you need a good microphone. Send an archive is another really good one. Um, it allows you to reply to an email and, and archive it off straight away. So here's this one here, and you can go, um, I'm gonna reply to that. I'll reply to Vicky on this one. Okay, and you get this new button here, send an archive. Thanks. And when you go send an archive, it actually removes that email out of your inbox, and they'll come back when they reply later. Okay, so it keeps your inbox nice and clean. Auto undo is another great one. So I might compose an email and send it to Denise and go test. And then when you send it, you may go, oh, I didn't mean to send that. And you get this up here for a designated period of time based on your settings and you can just undo. And there's your email again. Really, really handy um, feature that one. Quick links is a great way, it's kind of like labels, but it's a great way of adding custom views to your email. So any type of search capability, you can create a search and then add a quick link. So at the same time here, I'm gonna double up and show you Google search capability because it saves you having to file everything. It's one of the big, massive features in Gmail is Google search. There's these quick links here uh, for searching on all kinds of stuff. But if you do a, a look up for Gmail syntax, you can actually find a whole bunch of other ways to search in here using a bit of syntax okay, to find emails from particular people, okay? Really, really, really powerful. But once you've done a search like that with quick links, okay, I'll do a search for from, um, okay, and then I can add a quick link for Jonathan, and then whenever I need to from my inbox, I can jump back and just see all the emails from Jonathan. Really great way to slice and dice your email box. Uh, multiple inboxes. Actually, before I jump into multiple inboxes, I'll show you priority inboxes. So we're on default here. There's different views you can have here. I actually like the priority inbox because it means I don't miss anything and you can actually set up different kind of sections here. You've only got four sections, but I have all unread, my starred, which are the ones to action, 
my invoices, so I don't miss any invoices, and then everything else at the bottom, okay? And you can configure those by clicking here, and then you can, you know, add additional sections, um, change all the settings, what, what, are you, what do you want those to be, okay? Set that up as you like, really, really great feature, okay? Um, but the multiple inboxes gives you another way of slicing the view, and if I go back to the default inbox, now it won't automatically display while you have these tabs up here. Okay, so you need to turn those off. So if you go into your configure inbox, untick all of those, go save, you then get, voila, this view. Okay, and this, you can customize this to be anything you like. It's a really, 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 really uh, fantastic solution. So um, if you go into settings, and you get this new section here, man, multiple inboxes. You basically put any search query in here. So when you do a Google search, you put that in there. And and I just said I want to show nine messages per query on the right-hand side. So you can have up to five containers there. Really nice way to customize your inbox, okay? So that's um, your multiple inboxes. I will just put that back now to my normal inbox so I can show you the next feature. Uh, sorry, configure inbox. Turn those back on. Okay, now the next feature is a preview pane. So I enabled that feature before, and you get this little icon here. So you can either go a vertical split, okay, and by clicking on an email, you get the uh, the preview over here, and then you can action it, or you can do a horizontal split. Okay, again, similar type of thing, horizontal split. So really nice, really nice capability there. Um, the Google Calendar sits down over on the right left hand side here gives you a nice view to be able to just jump into your calendar and view it without having to go out of your email and you can quickly add an event from there as well okay so that's a nice little hack there canned responses okay so canned responses allows you to have canned emails that can go out to people so when you enable it you get this down here canned responses now, I haven't got any in there now, so this comes up, save, new canned response. So, personally, it's better to delete your signature out, because otherwise you get repeats of your signature. And I'll just put test, test canned response. Okay, and you can have an email subject as well if you want. And then you go save, give it a title. Okay, and then if I delete that out and then test it, You'll see here I've got insert, test, and uh, save and delete. So I want to test it, and there's my my can response. And if you want to update it, you type something and then go can response save, and it'll resave over the top of that can response. Okay, really great way to be able to smash out some can responses to people for regular things that come up. And the last one is a really nice one. It's um, hiding labels that are not in use so down here you can have lots and lots and lots of folders and you can have emails filtering into them but you don't want to see them if they're not if there's nothing for you to, un to read in them okay so labels are created in your settings you go up to settings okay and if you go up to labels okay so when you've created labels you go through and you click this show if unread show if unread so you click all those and that means they'll only pop up when there's something unread. So I'll go and now read these three emails. And again, I'll use a little hack here to go all, uh, yeah, mark as read. Oh, I'm marking them as unread, sorry. And then I'll mark them as read. Okay, and you see that now drops off my left-hand side. Okay, so, so when something new comes there to read, it pops up, the label pops up. So that, there you go, that's a good dozen or more hacks for your um, inbox and how to be productive with it and really get through those emails quickly. Go through and experiment with them. Um, find which ones work for you. There are some methodologies uh, we've developed that can really help um, systemize the way you're approaching your email. But feel free to experiment with them. There's a, covered a lot there, but you'll find a lot that you can make use of in your day-to-day -to, -day to work more effectively. Hope you found that helpful. 
So we hope you've enjoyed these hacks for your Gmail experience and getting the most productivity out of your email. If you'd like more updates like this, please subscribe. you find the link below or on our website. Please give the video a like to give it a bit of a boost and share it with your friends and colleagues. We look forward to seeing you next time.